At 11.15 this morning, the police department received an emergency call about an active shooter inside Church of Christ Burnett Chapel on Pinhook Road. When officers arrived, they saw one woman down in the parking lot. She was deceased. She has been identified as Melanie Smith, age 39, of Smyrna. They also encountered, as they entered the church, multiple gunshot victims and another person who had been pistol whipped. From what the investigation tells us at present, Emmanuel Cadega Sampson arrived at the church as it was letting out. He evidently confronted Ms. Smith in the parking lot. Multiple shots were fired in the parking lot. She was shot dead. He then entered the main door of the sanctuary and continued shooting. As I've told you earlier, six individuals, innocent people, were hit by gunfire. They all are at local hospitals, all in stable condition, expected to recover. At this point in the investigation, we have learned from church members, now that the name of the suspect is known, that he actually had attended this church uh, a year to two years ago. They said he hasn't been here in quite a while. They couldn't be more definitive on that. But they, they actually knew him. Uh, they did not know him this morning when he arrived because, remember, he was masked. Uh, the police department's cold case homicide unit is conducting this investigation. The FBI, ATF, federal resources are also here. And I know uh, that the U.S. Justice Department is contemplating uh, the opening of a civil rights case in regard to what occurred here today. Uh, as uh, we have said earlier, Mr. Engel is the hero here. Mr. Engel was the usher in the church. Uh, we suspect that uh, Mr. Sampson didn't all expect Mr. Engel to encounter him, to uh, struggle with him, to try to stop the shooting. Uh, Mr. Engel uh, was pistol whipped during this struggle. Sampson was shot with his own weapon. Uh, when he went down, Mr. Engel went to his vehicle, he's a handgun permit carry holder, and uh, came back into the church with the gun and made sure that Samson stayed on the ground until police officers arrived. Uh, the investigation is going to be continuing here at the church for some hours. Uh, the entire scene is going to be processed. Samson actually entered the church with two guns. He had two pistols. Uh, both are there. Uh, Mr. Engel's gun that he had is also there. Uh, and there's a lot of work to be done as far as processing the crime scene. Uh, Samson was treated and released from Vanderbilt University Medical Center for a gunshot wound to his chest. Uh, he is now in the police department custody. We're attempting to interview him. If that interview uh, doesn't go anywhere, or even if it does, he will be charged tonight with the murder of Ms. Smith and multiple counts of attempted murder. And again, as I said, the uh, Federal authorities, the FBI and the ATF are partners with us, and they are uh, along with us in this investigation as it progresses. Does he have a criminal background? Uh, not that I am aware of. From what we know of Mr. Sampson, we believe that he came to the United States from Sudan in 1996. From what I have been told at this point, uh, he was a legal U.S. resident, but not necessarily a U.S. citizen. Uh, he did have a Tennessee driver's license that came back with a Murfreesboro address. Uh, officers in the FBI have been to that uh, apartment address that was on the driver's license and that it was a bad address. Why a civil rights case, potentially? Well, uh, I, am, uh, I, I will just tell you that the federal authorities are here and that they are looking at the possibility of a civil rights case. Obviously, the nature of what's happened here. Uh, churchgoers, uh, church letting out. Everybody looking forward to a great Sunday, and there's a man who opens fire just as people are trying to go home. Uh, the circumstances of this uh, have uh, obviously caught the attention of the Justice Department, and they are contemplating an uh, investigation of their own. Hate crime? I wouldn't go there. Are the Federals assisting? Or are they yes. No. This investigation is being led by the police department's homicide unit, the centralized homicide unit. Uh, the FBI and ATF are here providing whatever assistance uh, they can offer. Uh, also, I know that uh, the United States Attorney's Office has uh, asked them to contemplate looking at a civil rights investigation.
Don, you know that he attended the church a year or two ago. Do you all have any other idea what would have brought him back here to shoot the congregants? I don't. The uh, folks here said that they had not seen him in quite a while. Uh, they did not know who it was until they heard the name. And uh, some of them gasped when they heard the name and said that he used to go here, uh, and they said a year or two ago. Uh, they couldn't be more definitive. Some of you asked how many people were in the church today. One of the uh, church members said the attendance today was about 42 people. So uh, I said earlier between 40 and 50, that appears to be right on. They had about 42 people in attendance here today. Is Samson a working man? I don't know that. Like the that. police department will be, will be doing a lot of things trying to uh, learn more about him and his background. Without your intervention, how much worse could this have possibly been based on other cases like this? Well, you know, we hear all the time in America about uh, citizens doing the right thing, about deciding to get involved, about intervening. That's what Mr. Engel did. Mr. Engel saved countless lives here today. Uh, he uh, was brave. He took definitive action, uh, even to his own peril, his own injury. And uh, he is, uh, at the end of the day, the hero in this, because we think this uh, could have been uh, much worse in terms of death. He's only 22 years ago. Mr. Engel, correct. When things like this happen, we hear domestic terrorism. Is that something that's been looked into? Uh, I can't speak to what uh, I can't speak for the federal government. Don, there's been some reports um, from people who said they have family in there that. Samson at one point uh, went to the children's classroom and told them not to let the kids out. Or have you all been able to substantiate that? I have not. I have not. I know that the children were not in the sanctuary, that they were uh, in another part of one of the buildings, but uh, no one has uh, mentioned that to me. Is there any indication he went anywhere other than the parking lot lobby and sanctuary? Uh, that's what I know at the moment not having been in on each of the interviews with the church members. Are they done with the vehicle? As far as rendering it safe, yes. Yeah, the vehicle was rendered safe. Uh, one of our dogs, uh, actually a couple of our dogs, hit on the vehicle, uh, indicating there could be something of an explosive nature there. Obviously, the car had ammunition in it earlier. Uh, there could still be some uh, ammunition in it now. Uh, so out of an abundance of caution, uh, hazardous devices unit went through their protocols in clearing the vehicle. Uh, some of their protocols indicated something could be there, so they did everything uh, by the book for the safety of everyone here. And as it turns out, there was nothing immediately harmful in the vehicle. Are you looking into any other suspects, anybody who may have had contact with or spoke to? Yeah, this is going to be a continuing investigation. Uh, we'll be looking at uh, specific motivations, uh, what conversations have been had, uh, anyone who knew this man. Uh, certainly, if anyone has any information, they can call the Nashville Police Department uh, at 615-862-8600 or Crime Stoppers at 615-74-CRIME. Uh, we're happy to hear from any and all who have information about why this may have happened. Is anybody he else married? inside the church right now? Is there anybody else inside the church In, this uh, Inside the sanctuary proper? Uh, our crime scene uh, processors, I suspect, are still there, but no one has been there since all inside since all the victims were taken out uh, very early on. We don't know whether he's married or has a family. I don't know that. Multiple. There were multiple shots fired in the parking lot and multiple shots fired inside the building. I do not. Uh, but they were in another area of the building, but how many were there, I don't know. I know that they were not a witness to the gunfire in the sanctuary. Did he have multiple clips that he was doing? We'll need to process all of that. There's, we need to go through and we'll document everything that's in that church. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, you all, uh, if, uh, those of you who want to go sit in night court, uh, you will probably see him on video at least at some point, at some point tonight uh, when, he is, uh, when, the, when the magistrate pulls him up for his video appearance. Do you anticipate any other updates in the near future? Uh, not here, no. No, this is it from here. Thank you all.